And then after I single them out, you know what I'll do? Is I'll go back and be reunited with my glass of wine and be ready to be uh, enraptured by the beautiful singing that we will hear and the beautiful uh, words that go with the singing. And I hear a cell phone. <laughs> Uh, I should be the person who says, um, please turn off your cell phones. But they're very special people. And the number one person I want to mention, and then I'll quickly couple that person's name with the name of another person, is my dear friend, Agathi Dimitruka, who is a very modest person. You, you must not applaud her yet, because she is so modest and shy that I, I still remember the first time I met my dear friend Arati. Uh, I became shy just talking to her greatness because she is great. And somebody that I want to couple with the name of Arati Dimitruka is the name, she doesn't sound Greek, but she is Greek, uh, Ria Lesage, Lesage. And don't be fooled by the name. She's as Greek as apple pie. <laughs> and, and Rhea is the genius who worked with Agathe Dimitruka in making it possible for Harvard University to um, be the guardian, the curator, I like to say, of the Nikos Gatsos collection, which is now free for the whole universe to study. And without uh, the, uh, the beautiful working together of Rhea with Agathe, uh, even this celebration wouldn't be what it is. But I've already spoken too much. I'm dying to sit down and hear the music. And I will, but not before I, I mention another very near and dear name. And that is the name of a diplomat, the diplomat of diplomats. And I, I, I just love his first name, Achilleos. What could be better? And Achilleos Rakinas, who is my favorite person in the Greek embassy. And after the ambassador. After the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll call on my dear friend and colleague, Achilleos, to set the scene while I melt into the audience and enjoy what is going to happen as much as I sure, I'm sure you will. But before I, I pass the sector to our dear diplomat, uh, could I just say in an undiplomatic way that um, what Agathe was able to do in the course of her life is preserve not only a beautiful legacy of this genius, of Nikos Gatsos, but also in her modest way to show indirectly, but I can tell, her own genius. This is a merger of geniuses. And uh, I think of how Puccini had such a hard time finding the perfect librettist. And, and uh, I could joke by saying that the librettist is the unsung hero. <laughs> but um, yeah. if, if we look aside for what grammar we use, um, to me, Agathe is an unsung hero, and we're here to sing her. And with that, I now um, hand over the scepter to Achilleos. Dear Professor Naz, dear friends of the Center of Canadian Study, uh, dear friends who uh, came here to this event today, uh, um, my name is Achilles indeed. I'm uh, after the ambassador, a very good friend uh, of, of Greg, but what, what Greg didn't mention is that Greg is one of, of, of the greatest friends of Greece and for the embassy. And before I start talking about the event, I would like to publicly congratulate him for the, the decoration that uh, yes. took place in January. Yes. This year, yes. 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 The President of the Hellenic Republic received a decoration of uh, honor from the President of the Hellenic Republic.
Congratulations, Fred. You know, the institutional memory that counts, and this is the, uh, the essence of the decoration. Um, so we're gathered here today to celebrate Nikos Gatsos. It's actually uh, a series of uh, events to celebrate uh, the archive of this great poet of Greece's 20th century that found a permanent home at Harvard University in Boston, with real Assange being the very important guardian of this uh, material, who will advance the uh, 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 studies of the Greek language and the Greek literature in the United States. And uh, Agathini Mitruga, I think she did once more uh, a, a perfect choice as the guardian of the work of Nikos Gatsos by uh, collaborating with Harvard University on this. Um, so today uh, we will celebrate with the music uh, voice and piano, and uh, we have with us two uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, um, uh, uh, important uh, uh, artists within our Greek and American and Greek secret community, um, Aphrodite Mitsopoulou, and uh, who is uh, who have, we have partnered uh, in the past uh, for the, uh, another event at uh, the National Gallery of Art. And uh, our Greek Cypriot artist is Maria Anastasi Paschalidis. Um, uh, I will. I have the duty of uh, uh, saying a few words uh, for each one, so I will proceed with my duties now. So Maria Anastasi Paschalidis was born in Cyprus. Her studies have included classical voice training as a mezzo soprano and piano lessons at the National Conservatory of Athens Nicosia branch. She has participated in multiple musical and cultural events, locally and overseas, as a core member and a soloist along with well-known Cypriot musicians. Mrs. Anastasi Paschalidis has been featured as a soloist in prestigious concerts in the Washington metropolitan area. Since 2007, she has been the director of the Children's Corps at the Hellenic School of Potomac. And uh, Aphrodite Mitsopoulou, she was born in Greece and started her musical studies in the National Conservatory of Athens. In 2007, she received her solace diploma from the Conservatory of Arts and Technology, obtaining the first unanimously excellent award and the highest honors for outstanding performance. She earned her master's degree in 2009 from the Boston Conservatory, where she worked as a faculty selected tutor. Mrs. Mitsopoulou received first prize in 2004 at the Golden Muse competition for her interpretation in Greek and contemporary music. Further, the Pi Kappa Lambda Music Honor Society offered Mrs. Mitsopoulou a lifelong honorary membership for her artistic and academic profile. She has performed, as I mentioned earlier, at the National Gallery of Art in Washington in 2016 for the event entitled from Romantics to Greek Composers of the 20th Century, which was, was co-sponsored by the Greek Embassy. It was a great event back in 2016, where for the first time, Nikos Skalkotas' work, uh, The Sea, was performed live in Washington, D.C. by Aphrodite Mitsopoulou. Skalkotas, a very important uh, uh, Greek composer of the 20th century. She has also performed at the Embassy of Israel for the Congressional Hellenic Israel Alliance, the Krieger Museum and the Steiner Hall in Boston, among other places. So, before I give the floor to our, to our artists, I would just like to mention that this event is part of the European Month of Culture events in DC. Every month, the European Union, the 28 member states, and important institutions are, uh, um, uh, across DC, such as the Center for Hellenic Studies, uh, are uh, offering to the DC audience uh, a variety of uh, events, uh, uh, concerts, uh, and uh, uh, lectures uh, that cherish the European culture in America's capital. Uh, only on Saturday, uh, all our embassies were open to the public, and we accommodated more than 90,000 people. The Greek embassy had the pleasure to invite 4,000 people into the premises, mostly for food, Today it's for culture. <laughs> Thank you so very much.
I will not translate, but read the translation in English, or at least attempt to read the translation in English, and I will be also translating her words uh, as much as I can. So many, many thanks uh, to Gregory Nash for this uh, wonderful event. Excellent for a wonderful uh, trip that uh, they did together yesterday. In Baltimore. In Baltimore. Και τη φωνή κάποιου σήμαντου τόσο σε αιώνας φεργάτο από τον βότι των ψυχή και από τους κρούλους της Βαλτιμόρης και από τη χαμένια για σωτικά το Μέγα Μοναστήρι. Οπότε θα ζητήσει από την αρχή ένα ταξίδι στην Βαλτιμόρη για να έρθουμε να ζητήσουμε τη γίνεται. Because one of Mrs. Dimitrugas wishes to go to Baltimore because there's this poem by Nikos Gatsos which refers to places in Baltimore. I will not translate that poem. Και νομίζω ότι το ανακαλύψαμε, το ανακαλύψαμε την εκκλησία των καθεδρικών ναών του Ευαγγελισμού. Was a particular one church that God has mentioned and that Mr. Dimitruka and Achilles discovered, I believe yesterday. So now we're starting. Με την παρτίδα του Ιδεμένη στην Ελλάδα, στον άνεμο κρεμασμένα, την απαντή θυμήθηκα ημέρη σαν να βρει μια νεκρά μέσα στον σκουγκαριόν τα Σερτόνια. Αλλά τα μάτια των κυπτών είναι στραμμένα στη θάλασσα. Μήπω του ξαναφέρει ο Λοπιά με το σκουγκαριόν τα Σερτόνια. Their own country is tied in their sails and oars hang on the wind. Shipwrecked sailors like white as dead goats in winding sheets of sponges. But the eyes of the seaweed are turned on the sea, lest the south wind bring them home with new color on their canvas. 